dollar payment to a porn star and think it did. I'm not saying you're a liar, you're president, you're busy. I'm just having a devil of a time figuring out which news is fake. Let's just say your own words on lots of stuff give me, shall I say, lots of pause. Your base probably might not care, but you should. I guess you've been too busy draining the swamp to ever stop and smell the stink you're creating. That's your doing. That's your stink. Uh, amen. <laughs> uh, amen. And that, that is said, you know, sometimes I go after uh, Fox News for, I think, sometimes, you know, when the president says down and he's clearly up and he says left and the facts say right, I go after them. Uh, amen. Uh, th what the president is doing here is, I don't know the goal. Is it just, on Air Force One, he said he knew nothing about the payment. Rudy Giuliani goes on TV and says he knew everything about the payment. Then he paid Michael Cohen for it. Uh, Rudy Giuliani essentially went on national television to say the president lied. Mm -hmm. On Air Force One, on the symbol of America's democracy, the president lied. And I'm here to fix it. I assumed that was being done for a reason. Sometimes that happens. I went through the Clinton White House. Yeah. They had to do that on occasions. Mm -hmm. I lived through that. I thought it was being done for a reason. The president today is saying... Yeah. yeah, and I think that's the, kind of the re reaction again today inside the White House is that it, there isn't a lot of response to what, uh, to, to clarify what statement this is going to be, what, what, the, what the topic is. So the, um, so some of the confusion we saw from the podium yesterday in the White House, that hasn't been resolved uh, 24 hours later, which is telling in itself. I think there's some confusion. Um, uh, that, that confusion continues with, with Mr. Trump's own team. Um, and, um, you know, this is at a time when... We we have right. rapid developments in the Stormy Daniels case, right? Uh, there are, th th this summit is decided, right? I mean, it, it, the, the president said president. today uh, that he has a date and time, uh, a pretty high stakes meeting there, uh, and, and the Mueller investigation. I mean, and th th this, is a, this is a moment of, of real consequence in the presidency. Um, at, a, at the same time, we see a lot of uh, confusion more than usual within and, his own. And, and listen to his own. Counselor Kellyanne Conway making her way up to White House driveway today. Uh, I want you to listen to this. I'll explain on the other side. Again, there are both political and legal reasons why this answer is important. Kellyanne, when did you first learn that the president had reimbursed Michael Cohen for that pay payment made to Stormy Daniels? I have no comment on that. You Did you know about it before, Sarah? I have never heard about that during the campaign. I was the campaign manager a lot across my desk. Did you know about it last year in the White House? I did not. Did the president mislead the American people intentionally? The president sent out three tweets on the matter. Can we count on the uh, president to be honest? Yeah, the president's very honest. She says the president's very honest. Um, I think she might be the only one who's ever said uh, that. Yeah, it, the, the president is not honest about these things. He's not transparent about these things. But Kellyanne Conway, in her defense, she was the campaign manager. If this stuff was going on and it was done deliberately to help the campaign, she's liable as an executive in the campaign for the reports that are filed. And you'll notice I was, that was me questioning her. I didn't ask if she knew about it during, during the campaign. I asked if she knew about it when she was in the White House. So she volunteered that answer on her own after saying she wasn't going to comment on it. She did comment to say, I didn't know about this during the campaign. So definitely distancing herself. And we're seeing that from everyone in the White House. Privately, staffers are telling us how frustrated they are. They feel like they're in the dark. Rudy undermined everything they were working for. Rudy, who doesn't work in the White House. But we see it is all coming from the president himself. He spoke with Rudy before that interview on Sean Hannity. He spoke with him after. Rudy said that the president was not upset about anything he said. And then today the president comes out and he's like, well, he just got started. He was hired two weeks ago. He doesn't know all the facts. He's still learning the subject matter. All of this confusion is being blamed on people in the White House, people outside the White House like Rudy Giuliani, but it is coming from the president. And the president sent Rudy Giuliani to punch back, at least politically. We thought there was some legal strategy there as well. Uh, we're waiting, Mr. Mayor, for your statement. The president says you have for us to clear all this up once and for all. <laughs> I'm sure that's coming sometime today. A quick break. When we come back, the president also went after the special counsel today. More significantly, so did a federal judge in court.